In this video, I'm going to develop a model for the normal force, which is a type of contact force. In a previous video, we calculated the acceleration of an object sliding down an incline that was frictionless and set at an angle theta above the horizontal. And we found that the acceleration was g, the acceleration due to gravity, times sine theta, where theta was that angle. Let's take a look at an actual object sliding down an incline. Well, that wasn't anything close, was it? For a range of angles, it didn't slide at all. And when it did slide, it wasn't anything near g sine theta. That's a pretty crappy model, of course, because we assumed it was frictionless, and very few things are frictionless. In the next series of videos, we're going to develop a far more sophisticated contact force model that will allow us to incorporate friction into our calculations. The first stage of that is the normal force. The normal force is a contact force, which means the agent must be in contact with the object. Also, for our model, at least one surface must be flat at the contact point, and it can be either the agent or the object. Let's take a look first where the book is just sitting flat on the board. The first step is to identify the planes that are parallel and perpendicular to the surface at that contact point. This is the contact surface here, the pink line is parallel to that surface, and the green line is perpendicular, set at 90 degrees. Our model of the normal force is then this. The magnitude of the normal force can be anything, like any other contact force. But the direction has to be perpendicular to the surface of contact, pointing from the agent to the object. If I wanted to identify the normal force that the board exerts on the book, my dot here represents my book, and that normal force would be along the green line, perpendicular to the plane of the surface of contact, and it would point up, because in this case the agent, the board, is below the book. Looking at the board, it's the opposite. The agent is the book, the object is the board, and so from the agent to the object points down. For one more practice problem, let's set it at an angle. Now if we want to look at the normal force that the board exerts on the book, how would we find it? I'll show you a great method to do that. The book is represented by a dot, and the first thing I do is create a pair of axes that is parallel and perpendicular to the ground. Then I create another pair of axes. They are set parallel and perpendicular to the incline, in this case the board. And given the surfaces, they are also parallel and perpendicular to the surface of contact. The axes are set an angle theta apart, the same theta from my problem. Now, to find the normal force, it points along the axis that's perpendicular to the plane of contact, which I've already identified. And since it's from the agent to the object, and the object is the book, it's going to point in this direction. If I were to do another free body diagram for the board, and I'm just identifying the normal forces in this case, now the book is the agent, the board is the object, it's still going to point along the axis perpendicular to the surface of contact, but it's going to point from the agent, which is this case the book, to the object, which in this case is the board, and it will then point in this direction. Well, that's the normal force. And I strongly encourage you to set up axes like this when you're working on incline problems. They will really help get your free body diagrams correct.